friends, welcome back to my channel and a very special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach. I follow Weight Watchers and I count calories and macros. Happy Sunday, it is Sunday and it is the long awaited protein pudding recipe video. I have been talking about this for quite a while. I was getting all my little bits and pieces together to film today's video and I have some amazing protein pudding recipes for you. This is a great dessert, a great snack, and a great way to get in lots and lots of protein. So if you're excited to see the recipes I've created, give this video a big huge thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed and your bell notification is turned on because I upload five videos every single week. All of the protein pudding recipes will be on my recipe website, which is linked down in the description box, along with nutrition coaching, links and discounts to my favorite things, and of course, come on over, join our Facebook group. We would love to have you. So let's get into my kitchen and make some protein pudding. So let's make protein pudding number one. I am beyond excited for this video and all of this protein pudding. So we're going to start with the Premier Protein in vanilla. Now you can use any vanilla protein shake. Be mindful that plant-based protein generally does not set up and neither do the lean shakes from GNC. I've tried to make protein pudding out of those and they do not set up. I find the best ones are Alani Premier and Fairlife. You can usually find Premier and Fairlife at Costco and Sam's Club, Alani on the Alani website at GNC, and then you can also buy them on Amazon. So I'll link a few options down below for you, but you're going to add the entire container of Vanilla Premier. And this one we're going to do lemon pudding. So I'm going to do two tablespoons of sugar-free lemon pudding mix. And then I like to take my little handheld frother. I just bought this on Amazon. I'll link it for you. It's less than $10. And I like to mix that really well. You wanna make sure that protein shake and the pudding mix gets mixed thoroughly. I throw a lid on this, pop it in the freezer. It usually takes a few hours for it to set up. And then of course I'll be sharing with you all the delicious toppings and things you can add to the protein pudding. So lemon is ready. Super excited for my lemon protein pudding. I'm actually going to top it with some whipped cream and then I have these 34 degree sweet crisps, these sweet lemon cookies. They are so good. So I'm going to crumble just a couple of those and put it on top. That'll give it a little bit of a crunch. So here's the lemon protein pudding. Doesn't that look amazing? I really like adding some texture to my protein pudding like these crumbled up crisps, the chocolate chips, graham cracker crumbs. It really just adds a little bit of dimension to it. This is all the lemon meringue pie vibes. All right, number two is chocolate mint goodness. So we're going to use the Premier Protein in Winter Mint. Now this was a seasonal flavor, so you could do the chocolate Premier Protein. You can add a little bit of peppermint extract and get the same vibe, but I'm going to use the Winter Mint because I have a few on hand. I actually stocked up because you guys know I love mint anything. And then two tablespoons of Jell-O chocolate fudge pudding. That's exactly what's left in here. Usually you get about four tablespoons per little box, so it's enough for two protein puddings. And then mix her on up. This one's one of my favorites. It is so chocolatey, so, so chocolatey. And then you get that little bit of mint. And like I said, the add-ins, the mix-ins, what you top the protein pudding with really is what makes it. Chocolate mint pudding is ready to go into the refrigerator. So the next protein pudding is chocolate mint. I am really excited for this. You guys know I love mint anything. So I'm actually going to top it with some whipped cream. And then I picked up the zero sugar Hershey syrup. We're gonna try this out. I've heard mixed reviews. We'll see if it's any good. I'll put here on the screen my thoughts on that. And then I'm going to do a teaspoon of mini chocolate chips. Doesn't this look amazing? Oh my goodness, I'm so incredibly excited for this. So this is the chocolate mint protein pudding. 
So the next combination I also love, and that is using a chocolate protein shake. My preferred chocolate is Fairlife. I love it. It literally tastes like chocolate milk. This is one protein shake I can drink just as is, and it makes amazing protein pudding. So the entire chocolate Fairlife or any chocolate shake, and then we're doing banana pudding. This is chocolate covered banana goodness. So I'm going to add, again, two tablespoons sugar-free banana pudding. Mix her on up. Chocolate banana going in the fridge. So I pulled out the chocolate banana protein pudding. I'm super excited for this. I'm going to slice up about half of a fresh banana. I like to throw the other one in the freezer, the other half in the freezer for smoothies or protein shakes. And then we're gonna do one teaspoon of the mini chocolate chips. That's it. So it's only gonna be one point for the chocolate chips plus the points in the protein shake and pudding. And then of course the banana is zero points. And here is the chocolate banana protein pudding. I am very, very excited for this. I love chocolate, I love banana. This is a great dessert option packed with protein. So I'll put all of the points and macros here on the screen for you. Next up, we're using Fairlife again, but this time we're doing salted caramel. This is so good with sugar-free butterscotch pudding too. I didn't buy butterscotch, but that those two together, amazing. So we're going to add the entire salted caramel Fairlife shake. And for this one, we're using vanilla pudding. This is kind of a basic pudding flavor that goes with any protein shake. So if you can't find a lot of these sugar-free pudding flavors, get vanilla because it goes with everything. It just adds a nice flavor to it. And I, when I always buy the big box of vanilla, which you can usually get about four protein puddings out of. So our two tablespoons of vanilla sugar-free pudding mix. Mix her on up. Another thing I really like about the vanilla pudding with the salted caramel shake is it really just brings out the salted caramel flavor. So lid on and into the fridge. We're gonna do the salted caramel protein pudding and I'm going to make it into a decadent dessert. So we're going to use the Smucker's Sunday Syrup. This is the sugar-free Sunday Syrup from Smucker's. We're going to add a tablespoon of graham cracker crumbs for a little bit of crunch, a little bit of whipped topping. And there is the protein pudding. Doesn't that look amazing? It looks like a fancy dessert, but you're getting in just a ton of protein and a really healthy option for a sweet treat. This is one of my other favorite combinations. So again, a vanilla protein shake, I'm using Premier. Vanilla and chocolate protein shakes are going to be your most versatile because you can really add any flavor of sugar-free pudding, any toppings to those. So I like to make a lot of protein pudding out of those basic flavors and then amp it up with all of the toppings and the mix-ins. And this time we're using sugar-free pistachio pudding. This even has the little pistachio nuts in it. It's honestly one of my favorite sugar-free puddings and it is so good with the Premier Vanilla. Two tablespoons. Oh, and this one's fun because it turns green. <laughs> Mix her on up. One of my favorite pudding protein puddings is pistachio. I love simple toppings for this. Mix nuts, perfect, because there are little pistachio pieces in the pudding mix. This just adds a little bit of saltiness to the sweet, a little bit of a crunch, and then of course, some whipped topping. And here's the pistachio pudding. Again, one of my all-time favorites. This one's a little bit more light, a little less rich, but still really good flavor and crunch with the nuts. Next is one of my other favorite combos. Actually, all of these are my favorite combos. We're back to a chocolate protein shake. So for me, that is fair life. And this time we're adding in sugar-free white chocolate pudding. I know that might sound weird, but the combination of the chocolate and the white chocolate is so good. I mean, absolutely delicious. White chocolate is another pudding mix that kind of goes with everything. So it's another really versatile one if you can get your hands on that. All right, mix that up. And I'm telling you, it's like a black and white dessert. It is so good. Like I said, this is one of my favorite recipes. So we're going to top it with some whipped topping, some of the zero sugar Hershey syrup, and then for fun, just a few of the Reese's minis. These are the perfect, again, crunch texture to the pudding. 
And here's our black and white pudding. And then of course we added the crunch, a little bit of peanut butter to it as well. This is very decadent. I mean, a really solid, rich, decadent dessert. So if you have a sweet tooth, this protein pudding is perfect. Last but not least, you're going to need a caramel protein shake. I'm going to use Premier. Again, you can use any caramel protein shake. These ones I actually buy off of Amazon because I have a hard time finding the Premier Caramel. I will link the Amazon ones that I order down below. I actually found the cheapest case on Amazon. And then we're adding, of course, cheesecake sugar-free pudding to give us caramel cheesecake protein pudding. So incredibly good. I mean, absolutely incredible. There is a massively loud plane going over my house right now, which is pretty uncommon. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but it is really, really loud. Mix it up and we'll throw our caramel cheesecake protein pudding in the fridge. We're doing caramel cheesecake protein pudding and I'm super excited for this one. So I'm going to add just about a teaspoon of these salted caramel baking chips. These are actually from Nutstop. I'll link Nutstop down below with a discount for you guys. You can usually find Lily's salted caramel chips as well. These are regular full sugar, so I'm only going to do a teaspoon. And then I'm going to add about a tablespoon of graham cracker crumbs and some whipped cream. So I ended up only doing half a tablespoon of graham cracker crumbs. It was just a little bit too much. And then the teaspoon of the salted caramel chips. I'm telling you, these are the most amazing protein packed desserts. Thank you for joining me for today's video. I hope you are as excited as I am about these protein pudding recipes. I can't stress enough how great of a snack, dessert, or way to get in protein these are. There are endless combinations that you can make just using different protein shakes, different mix-ins, different flavors of sugar-free pudding, and they are so incredibly easy to make. I mean, you can't beat 20 to about 40, 45 grams of protein in a snack or dessert. So if you enjoyed today's video, give it a big thumbs up. Again, make sure you're subscribed and your bell's turned on because I upload five videos every single week. My recipe website where you will find all of today's recipes will be in the description box along with nutrition coaching, links and discounts to my favorite things. And of course, come on over, join our Facebook group. We would love to have you. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.